Man, you come right out of a comic book. Poke the Pixel Media. Exploring the media multiverse of geek culture. He meddled in things Hello, I'm Gotham Shran, creator of the science fantasy comic The Last Earth. I'd like to welcome you to my speed drawing and art process videos. Each week, I'll take you behind the scenes in the creation of my weekly comic strip. If you like this video and wish to be informed when new videos drop, then make sure to like, follow, and subscribe to stay up to date. All right, welcome to our week 12 coverage of my art process. Uh, today, we're going to be looking at panels 45 through 48. Uh, again, this marks my sort of the, the finally, finally getting into the action of the parts. Um, we're definitely seeing the end of the battle with the cave crawler. Uh, in these next couple of panels. Um, this was a lot of fun to draw. So right off the bat, I just want to start there. Um, I had kind of been very atmospheric and sort of building tension and kind of sort of really actually kind of also working out my so, sort of kind of the art, art artistic language I was going to use, uh, specifically for the subterranean portion of this story. Um, but now I, you know, I'm now practicing my action drawing and uh, making sure that it's very nice and cohesive and and the and uh, you know exciting, <laughs> which I hope it has been uh, for those of you who have checked out the uh, strip online already. Um, now, kind of, uh, so this one I actually uh, love really a lot here, um, getting him to do this sort of booster move. Um, I kind of wanted to do it with the last one where I had the DeLuca and he lands on the wall and then he boosts away at sort of a uh, very sort of acrobatic move. Um, you know, kind of wanted to show he's very like kind of light on his feet and, and uh, very adaptive. Uh, not, not necessarily a big bruiser uh, stand there and take a hit sort of kind of character. Uh, and Steelheart is one. I mean, uh, for those of you who might be your first. Uh, Jim Shooter Rules, this may be everybody's first video, so uh, my hero of Steelheart from the, of the Last Earth. Um, now, a little bit about the Last Earth itself is that, again, you know, I've talked a lot about this in the earlier ones, but just as a reminder, this is, you know, this is a setting that while you can see a lot of comic book aesthetics of um, very, you know, modern comics, this is supposed to be very far in the future, uh, 250 million years in the future. So, even though I'm drawing this character as a human, he's most likely not actually human, um, but some sort of later descendant of humanity. Uh, so I will kind of refer to them as humans and humanity, but for the most part, realistically, he is probably not that at all, uh, or any of the other people you'll see that are, are similarly look like they are humans. Uh, for the most part, everyone is who looks sort of like humanoid is probably a better way to kind of describe these characters. Um, now this next panel actually that's going to come up is one that I was really proud of. Um, you know, I am a fan of manga. I'm a fan of anime and a fan of samurai films, um, or Chambrabu films or, and, you know, wuxia films of China. And so this move here <laughs> that I'm showing is, you know, what I consider to be a classic anime move, you know, where it's the sort of the swordsmen pass each other and there's that brief moment and we see one of them fall apart and die and on a stream of blood and the other one comes out unscathed. Uh, so this is what I was going for here. And I, I wanted to really play with silhouette as much as possible to use some silhouette to kind of break up the, the, the sort of visual language as much as possible. Uh, I do believe that's something that uh, Wally Wood suggested in his panels that always work. And so here we have our hero after a quick boost with his boosters, his booster jets, jet boots. Um, as you can see, making short work, um, slicing this, this monster through and through, and after already having cut off two of the tentacles. Uh, so... So this one you'll see very quick. Um, again, playing around with how I'm gonna do text as well. Uh, you'll see a special effect that I put in here that I basically use screen tones to do with my screen tone brushes to do, to make, um, you know, trying everything, 
as much as possible uh, here. Now, the other big thing I'd like to point out about this is, also, you'll notice, this is the first one that isn't really an up and down panel, but I actually did a horizontal panel instead of a vertical one. Now, so far, I've been working in basically vertical and square panels for um, square for Instagram and vertical uh, a little bit for uh, reels, and but more for um, page printing as a panel a page. Uh, however, I do want to be able to um, remix these panels into s multiple panels per page, like a regular comic book. And so um, that is why I decided to do with the long panels. Um, I, I was being very formal at first, but as I progress on this, I want to break general formal rules or use more of the tools in my toolbox. And so this was an example of that. So moving forward, I'm going to be using a lot more like vertical panels and potentially even like slanted or slanted panels as well effects, um, which will still look square on Instagram, but when they make it to the page, they will um, look a lot different. Uh, this one, a classic sort of hero landing. Um, I did do the characters on two different, the two figures on two different layers so I can move them, uh, which is, I have to say, still one of the best things about working in digital. Uh, and again, this is another one of those black blood situations. Um, now, I would like to do ink splatter if I was doing this analog, but luckily we have basically uh, FX, special effects brushes uh, in Adobe Fresco that allow me to basically you know, not have to do that portion. Uh, again, though, lots of spotted blacks and, uh, you know, uh, but also I feel like a hopefully a classic sort of superhero landing pose uh, as he finishes off this this monster that he had uh, taken on, the, the cave crawler. Um, you'll see, if you look at the, the left, you'll see the final panel. Uh, that... Normally, I would do that sound effect on the original art piece itself, but in this case, I um, I added that after the fact. So I actually added that afterwards uh, before I when I put this finally on, uh, rather than being part of the original art. Um, it'll be in the next panels later, but you'll see. So that was just a kind of a little difference there. And uh, now we're coming up on. Uh, panel 48. Now in this panel, and this is the end of this part, um, this man marks a lot. Uh, first off, oh, you can see I'm playing around here. So first off, um, this is kind of the end of that battle itself. Um, but also this is one where I really wanted to, sh to kind of use this as a, a breaking transition point. So Starting in August, uh, basically for the next week that I post, um, we're actually going to see the 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 setting and action shift to another character, um, one we have seen already, but we haven't learned anything about, and so we'll learn about them um, in this next part. So there's a uh, August. I'm planning effectively an interlude to the main story to help build the world and introduce more characters. So something I hope will be exciting. Um, some really cool character designs. And another thing is base designs. Remember, one of my big inspirations for this entire series has been um, action figure toys and cartoons and stuff. So I'm trying to design the vehicles and bases to look very toyetic so that it looks like something that could be a toy. Um, I'm also using a lot of similar design elements to a lot of characters. Um, to kind of play to the idea of how uh, they'll often use the same molds with different colors or mix and matches to create the character. Something very big that was in the um, Masters of the Universe series. And now finally, uh, finally, a bit of bonus artwork. So at the end of each of these parts, so each month I've done what is effectively a comic book cover and for each month, I've also done a ad at the end, a special ad that emulates an ad of old. So it's sort of um, looking like it's a fake ad, but it's also pointing to my influences. Now, the first ad I did was definitely 
based off of the Secret Wars action figures. Uh, the second ad I did, which I haven't shown yet, uh, only because some of the characters that appear in that ad I had not revealed yet in the series. Um, so uh, once I reveal them, which is pretty much coming up in the next two weeks, um, I'll then share that ad with you guys. But I, I basically didn't want to spoil it. Uh, now here, however, I am doing a little bit of spoiler. As I say that, I am still doing a little bit of spoiler. As you can see, uh, there's two characters in the background where Ukla and Princess Ariel are. Um, those are two characters I will reveal in the future, but they are effectively will be Steelheart's, some of Steelheart's team and partners. Um, the warriors for good, as it were. Um, now also, this is an example of one of the ins of the. Uh, influences. Thundar the Barbarian is 100% one of the influences of this series. Um, you know, um, I, I've even taken parts from it, and even to the point that I would say that the uh, the Power Saber that um, that Steelheart wields is, you know, w w I'm not hiding the fact that it's very much the Sun Sword uh, or a lightsaber, but specifically like the Sun Sword for for um, uh, Thundar. So it has always had a big influence uh, from the Kirby design to the setting and everything like that. Uh, but like I said, I'll be showing you those other ones later. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed this week's uh, art process video. Thanks again for joining me on my art process journey as I create my comic strip, The Last Earth. You can follow me on the web at www.pulptopixel.com and on Instagram and Twitter at pulp to pixel See the show description for links to my link tree, my merch store, and donation site. See you next time when we return to the distant future of the last Earth.